Hello everyone, in this video I am briefly going to go over how to embed your videos into our Blackboard discussion boards which are for our presentations. So this is kind of how our Blackboard should look. On the left hand corner over here you may need to expand it because it may open and close but you're going to want to open it and look at the left hand side and go down to presentations. You're going to click on the selected presentation or if it says submit view all presentations that's where you're going to click there. So you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to spe see speech number two called culture artifact speech. So we're going to want to submit that. So let's click speech number two, culture artifact speech. You click on it, it'll take a second. And then you're going to have this pop up. You shouldn't be able to yet see other people's presentations until you've posted yours. So make sure, of course, that you post yours. <laughs> then you're going to go to the left hand corner and click create thread. So we're going to click on that. This should pop up right here. So then you're going to click the subject line. Let's just put speech number two. And then right here, you're going to want to go to the bottom hand area where it kind of has like the red icon for YouTube. If you can't see all of these, it could be that it's not expanded completely. So you see this little arrow that goes up and down. You're going to want to click on that if you can't see all of these little toolbars. So then you're going to go over here to mashups, which is at the very bottom. And it has like the four different colors here. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to go down to YouTube video. And now what you're going to do is go to your YouTube video that you uploaded and you posted. Make sure that it's unprivated because if it is private, other students aren't going to be able to access it and I'm not going to be able to access it. So we need to make sure that it is accessible to all of us before the due date. And then you're going to copy and paste the URL for your video, making sure that it's unprivated. You're going to go over here to the search engine and then you're going to paste the URL there and then you're going to click go. And then it'll search YouTube for the different videos. So the one that I'm looking for here is the first one that actually popped up, what is communication? I'm going to go ahead and click select. And then if you want to rename the video, you may rename the video here. I'm going to go down here to thumbnail. We're gonna keep it at thumbnail, show YouTube URL. Yes, just in case maybe something's not functioning properly on Blackboard, at least we'll have the URL. Show YouTube information, yes. And then I'm going to go ahead and click submit bottom right hand corner and now as you could see here you could actually see the video and it says watch video so this is what I mean by embedding your video it's easily accessible for students and I'm going to show you what it looks like after you post it then you're going to click submit and then as you could see here it pops right up immediately after you want to make sure that your YouTube video is working fine working properly so you're going to click on your speech so we're going to go over here to mine and then there's my video right there. So let's click watch video and boom, it's immediately there. You don't have to go to YouTube. You don't have to copy and paste links. It makes it so much easier, not only for me for grading purposes, but for other students to watch your videos. So we want all of it all on one platform, which is Blackboard so that everybody can access it immediately. So please, please, please make sure that your videos are embedded. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of this, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and I will see you all in the next video.